Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and in this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions, uh, we're going to define what a partial order is uh, or what a post set is. Yeah? Okay, um, and I suppose well, what we're going to do it's a, a partial order is basically a special type of relation, a relation that conforms to three particular conditions. Okay, uh, in particular, so let's let's define it. Okay, let's maybe provide a definition. The definition. Okay. Okay. So let's say something like this. Uh, we we'll, let's say let or be a particular relation on a particular set. Okay. Uh, so let's say let let or be a relation. Okay, on a set A, and we know what that means, okay? All that means is that or is a subset of A cross A. So or is a subset of the cross product of A with itself. Uh, and by definition, then that's what a relation is, okay? So let or be a relation on a set A, okay? Uh, we say we say that that or is a partial, a partial ordering. Or a partial order if and only if or is one if it's reflexive reflexive two if it's anti-symmetric okay, okay, and three if it's transitive okay if it's if it's transitive okay so for a relation to be a partial ordering okay uh, it needs to meet these three conditions like when we talked about equivalence relations an equivalence relation was a relation that was reflexive symmetric and transitive so to be an equivalence relation you had to have those three properties uh, well if we change this symmetric property to be anti-symmetric we get a different type of relation with different properties and we define that particular type of relation to be a partial order so let's consider an example okay so an example well, I suppose uh, first of all uh, let's say we have something like this let's say we have let Mm, let's think. Well, let let A be the set that contains the values one, uh, four, seven, and eight. And what we're going to do is we're going to construct the cross product. So what we'll do is we we'll construct the cross product, one, four, seven, eight. Okay, this is the set A and set A one, four, seven, and eight. And what I have here is one, 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 four, one, seven, one, eight. We have four, one. 4, 4, 4, 7, 4, 8, uh, we have 7, 1, we have 7, 4, we have 7, 7, we have 7, 8. The only reason I'm doing this is I want to construct a cross product so I can actually choose some relations. Uh, then we have 8, 1, 8, 4, 8, 7, and 8, 8. And what we'll do is we take all of these values, okay, we'll take them all, and we'll throw them into a set, okay? All of these order pairs go into a set, and that is the cross product of A with A, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose some values from here. So let's choose some values. So let's consider, consider uh, or is equal to, let's say for argument's sake, we have, uh, let's say, uh, one, one. Let's say we have four, four. Let's say we have uh, four, seven. Uh, let's say we have uh, seven one, uh, and let's say we have uh, four one, okay, uh, and let's say we have seven seven four, okay, uh, and let's say we have one seven as well. So let's say we have one seven, okay. So there's a relation. This is just simply a subset of this particular set here. You can actually see that the values that we have, uh, one one is contained here, four four is is here, four seven is there, seven one is here, four one is here, seven four is there, and one seven is right here. Okay. So this is a subset of this cross product. So this thing here is a relation. Okay, by definition, by definition. So that's a relation. And what I'd like to know is, is this relation, is this relation a partial order? Is it a partial ordering? Yeah. Okay. Well, for it to be a partial ordering, it needs to be reflexive. 
It needs to be anti-symmetric and it needs to be transitive. Okay. Uh, is this relation reflexive, first of all? Okay. Is it reflexive? Remember to be reflexive. Okay. Uh, reflexivity. Reflexivity. If it, if it, uh, reflexive to be reflexivity yeah okay requires requires that for for each and every uh, x that we have in the set a we must have x x being an element of the relation okay in other words for it to be reflexive we need to have all of these things down here in this particular relation okay and actually you can see that this isn't reflexive. So this relation is not reflexive because albeit that we have 1, 1, we have 4, 4, we don't have 7, 7, and we don't have 8, 8. They're missing from this particular relation. So it's not reflexive. So it doesn't even meet the first condition. So hence this relation is not, it's not a partial order. Okay, This is not a partial, partial order. Okay? Now, what we could do is we could make it, we could close it under reflexivity, we could make it reflexive. The way we'll make it reflexive is by throwing in the things that are missing. So let's just do that. So let's throw in the things that are missing. So let's go in here. Okay. And let's just throw in, let's create this relation. Let's say this relation R2 is the set that contains the ordered pairs 1, 1, 4, 4, 4, 7, 7, 1. It contains 4, 1, 7, 4, uh, contains uh, 1, 7. And the, I suppose, the reflexive pairs that are 